Hey everybody, it's Richie from Rockitar. Hey, thanks for joining me. Hey, in this lesson, we're going to be learning part three in the final part of the Smoke on the Water trilogy, if you will. All right. So in the last couple of lessons, we learned part one and part two. And I'll just review that for you really, really quick. Um, part one was three notes, uh, like this. Open, first finger on the third fret, and then your third finger on the fifth fret. Okay, and then in the last lesson we learned part two, which was open, first finger on that third fret again, then the shift, using your third finger on the sixth fret, and then your second finger on the fifth fret. So it sounded like this. Just like that. Hopefully you've got that far. Who knows? Probably by now you're probably a master at those two parts. So let's go ahead and get on to part three. Okay. So part three sounds like this, and it's just kind of the uh, kind of wraps up this whole riff, if you will. Puts a nice little bow on it, I guess. So here is here it goes. That's it. So this time we're playing five notes, but hey, something sounded familiar in there, right? Well, that's right. It pretty much just uses all the notes from part one and adds a couple of more. So you have the three notes from part one, and then it adds a couple of more. It almost plays it in reverse. So let's go ahead and learn part three. So we're going to start out with our open G string, because remember, all this is being played on the G string right here, your first string. So everybody give that a pluck. And uh, also, by now, um, you should shift back your hand to the uh, third fret, basically. Have your thumb behind the neck right around the third fret, okay? Just uh, either to right center to that is usually pretty good, okay? All right, so then everybody take your first finger and place that on the third fret, just like this. Yes, that's right. All three of these parts start out with the same two notes. Very interesting. That's right. All right. Then the next note in part three is to put your third finger on that fifth fret, like this. Okay, everybody give that a pluck. Excellent. That note's actually called a C, but for right now, we're just going to be uh, just calling the notes by their fret names for now, just so that we can get our fingers moving and get going, okay? Now, the last two notes of part three. The next note is back to your first finger on that third fret. Okay, everybody there? All right, give it a pluck. Okay, excellent. All right, and then the last note is just your open G string. That's right. So the last note is the easiest. Very nice. So let's go ahead and give that one a plug. All right. Awesome. Y'all are doing great. So let's review that. So it's open string first, then your first finger down on that third fret. Excellent. Then your third finger on that fifth fret. Then, back to your first finger on the third fret. And then, your open string, one final time. All right, excellent. So that is part three of Smoke on the Water right there. I'll go ahead and play it for you uh, slower. You know, you want to start out these things slower. See if you can follow along. And then uh, we'll put the three parts together. Okay, so let's do it. And it starts out with open. Ready? Here we go. I'll do it one more time. Ready? Okay, go. Okay. So, why don't we go ahead and put parts one 
2 and 3 together for you right now. And remember, we're only using our index finger on our right hand to pluck, OK? So here we go. We're going to put parts 1, 2, and 3 together. And I'll do it slowly for you, OK? So here we go. See if you can follow along. Ready? 1, 2, ready, go. Great. Excellent. Let's do it one more time just to be sure. All right. So let's go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Keep it going. And... One more time, and... All right, great. Congratulations. You now know one of the greatest rock rips of all time and one of the greatest bass lines of all time at that. So way to go. Hey, that didn't take very long at all, did it? Well, that's great. Well, hey, guess what? Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to really rip it up uh, the way they did it back uh, in the original recording, uh, where they got those really, really low bass tones. So right now, you have it on the higher register on one string. We're going to learn to do it on a couple of different strings. So that way, you have some good range and versatility with this riff. All right? Great job. I'm really proud of you all. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hey, I'll see you all in the next lesson. My name is Richie. Rock guitar, and I can't wait to see you again in the next lesson. <laughs>